Gavin Newsom. Uh, another weirdo fuck. I just, this hurts me to my heart because I love Marshawn Lynch to death. Um, and I've actually reached out to him like, dog, what are you doing? Um, but they're doing a show together. They're starting a podcast. Uh, and apparently it's some sort of political podcast. And I know why. I know what it's for. I know why Newsom's reached out as well. This is to gain traction uh, in the in the hood, in the inner city, because Biden administration is getting murked right now in the inner city uh, with Kamala Harris's fake appearance yesterday where black folks were calling her out like you you've been putting us in jail like i don't know if you saw eddie griffin and all these other fucking celebrities came out like bitch you're fake as hell why are you coming out now mm -hmm. uh where you where have you been this whole time why are you letting hamas's vote for for president or vote and not us like what we couldn't even vote you won't even let a felon vote like what all this shit i've been seeing now all of a sudden we got this it's just a political ploy um, but it hurts my heart to see uh, a real one like Marshawn uh, go down this road. But it is what it is. People do what they got to do. Like, I'm about to do something crazy, too, Smitty. So I'm not mad at him at all. I'm about to do some shit, too. Uh, Trump, Trump, uh, 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 Trump's uh, backers and team pays me? Guess what? I'm rocking a shirt I got made. I'm rocking that motherfucker and selling them like wildfire. And I'm going to pay you with them. I'm going to pay Bailey with it. And then, you know what? None of you going to give me the money back. I fucking promise you. And either is either is Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn Lynch ain't giving the money back either. And, and, and let's just be real. It is what it is. Um, doesn't mean I'm voting one way or another. I don't vote. I already told you that. Like that's a that's I'm never voting ever. But yeah. but I by will. you doing that, but I will are, endorse like, once no, you once you do that, you are endorsing them though. Regardless, like right now, that, 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 that's is what, endorsing. He's not now. Gavin Newsom not running yeah. for president, but yeah, yeah, indirectly he's endorsing yeah. Biden. Yeah, you, yeah, know, yeah. you would be clear, endorsing Trump if you do that, whether you yeah, vote yeah. or not. But let's clarify: endorsing and voting, very, 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 very far uh, apart. Just so we're clear, endorsing and voting means two separate things in my world. I don't know about you. Endorsing means I'm not voting, but I'm also in the in the big picture of things, the lesser of two evils. If I had to vote and was going to make a vote, that's probably who I'm endorsing, right? Well, yeah, endorsing I, endorsing, endorsing is telling other people to who to vote for, basically. That's how I look at it. Endorsing is like, that, hey, y'all, this I, who I, I would supporting. vote for. Y'all should vote for him. Yeah, yeah. Endorsing just means I'm supporting that person, but that doesn't mean I vote because I already said I voted. I've already told his camp I don't I don't vote. <laughs> like right. I don't vote. Yeah. Do yeah. vote for you, vote for. I, you know, I, I I don't mind. But you start oh, by saying, saying that it, it hurts your heart that Marshawn Lynch is doing this podcast. But then we you know also on this show, oftentimes you'll say you don't care if you right or left or whoever you this or that, you don't care. But then and I and I always again, this is the really show, so I always gotta you know, not call out, but call out stuff when I see it or hear it. We say that on one end, but every time there's somebody who's leaning left or supports somebody on the, on the left, you do, you don't like it. So it's like, I, it's, I'm just trying to see, like, do we do we not care if it's right or left? Or, or do we actually care if you support anything on the Biden side or the Democratic side? It's like we're going to have a problem is what it seems like on this show. Where I, or again, I, I keep it real. We talked about before. We both grew up left for a while. You're now, I guess you're not neither, but for being honest, you lean right. I I try to call myself independent, but for being honest, I probably lean a little bit left. Let's keep it real. So I don't know who, I, I don't know what I'm doing in voting yet. Cause I'm, I feel I, like you said, I think both sides is fucking shitty right now. So I'm kind of in this weird spot where I don't know what to do. You've already said you're not voting, but you're also semi endorsing Trump. So I say all that to say this. We oftentimes, when we bring up any type of political thing on this show, we say we both, we say we don't care, but depending on what's going on, we are biased on one side versus the other. You know what I'm saying? Marshawn Lynch, listen, maybe he maybe he has a different knowledge and different relationship with Gavin Newsom. Obviously, the other guy is Marshawn Lynch's agent. You're going to um, lean who, who, who where you up are. With Gavin Newsom. So, again, yeah. I don't know how long Marshawn been knowing Gavin Newsom, what their conversations have been. I know you have a connection from a, a while, you said a while back. Your homie smoked a cigar with him years ago before he was running. You got information about that. So, now you, you say this guy's fucking the devil. All right, cool. That's your experience. Marshawn Lynch probably got a different experience. 
So, like, you know, him doing the, po the politicking, whatever, maybe he, he rocks with Gavin Newsom based upon what he knows. Everybody experience. There's people who, who met you or saw you on fucking Netflix who don't like you. You know what I'm saying? There are people who love you. Same thing. With, you know what I'm saying? So I guess what I'm saying is everybody experiences with different or people are, are different based upon whatever that situation was with them. So I'm not mad at Marshawn Lynch for doing this. That That's what he wants to do. Marshawn Lynch has always been a real one. He ain't never been nobody who to fake or be phony for anybody. Like, at the end of the day, man, Pots is the one thing that truly divides all of us, man. Like, I've never seen, like, more than gangs, more than religion, in my opinion. Because, like, religion, I know people who are, like, you know, eight, first up, like, Matt, obviously, he's an atheist. But I guarantee you, before football games, when we did the Lord, they did the Lord's Prayer, he didn't mind. He put it, he, he might not believe, but he's going to put his head down out of respect. He's going to do it. Like, it ain't that big of a deal. But when it comes to politics, if you fucking, if you Republican, other person's Democrat, you literally hate each other. And there's no agreement on either side. It don't matter what the fuck is going on. Someone on the other side can be like, hey, y'all, the sky is blue. And the fucking Democrat, no, you're fucking lying. It's not like, what? Like, that's how bad it is. And I, and I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. The only, only, only issue I have, like, there's two things. Like, for, first of all, I don't really give a fuck about who, who Marshawn likes. I like Marshawn because um, I've had conversations with him. I, and we all yeah. we speak we speak the same language in a lot of shit. We never right. talked politics because politics wasn't a thing. Politics has become re pre prevalent now because these people are coming after certain people to have them speak for them. Amber Rose is now speaking in Michigan for Donald Trump. Yeah, she made a she made a complete right hand turn, right? Yeah, like so people are switching every day, and you're starting to see a lot of black folks switching too. And it's yep. like it's starting to like show people like, oh, okay, well, this is how America should be though. It should be the will and the freedom to do whatever you want. I have exactly. no issue with Marsha on Lynch doing whatever he wants to do. Like I said, if Trump pays me, I'm doing Trump. <laughs> now, the problem I have is, though, is when we we look at these two polar opposites and we start to say, OK, I don't know if you know this, but you live in California. I mean, I know, you know, you live in California, <laughs> but I don't, know if you saw, I don't know if you saw what was going on yesterday in California in voting. I sent it to Bailey, but. Um, this Bailey, I, I sent you a video about a, a proposal that was being voted on, and the left kind of has shot it down. And basically, it was a felony. Uh, listen to this it's a felony. The, 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 the real people were voting to make it a felony to come out and, and say, Hey, uh, you know, you can't do this. You can't traffic kids. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't think that was going to be not not a felony, Smitty. The left have literally fought it and said, no, we can't make that a felony. It'll go against the LGBTQ community and it will cause suicide. What? <laughs> Dog, that is not a rational thinker, Smitty. I'm sorry. Yeah, I I, I I would need I would need to like read up on that because that don't make that makes zero sense. So I, I would have to read up yeah, on that gonna, myself and like get some more show. understanding. That yeah, makes zero yeah. sense. Yeah, the only reason I'm gonna show this video is because of this this topic, Marshawn Marsh and, and Gavin and New Gavin Newsom. Gavin Newsom is the governor of this state. <laughs> so sh go ahead, Bailey, pop it up. Take a listen, Smitty, and you can understand it real quick. It's a real quick that video. That SB 1414 takes an overly punitive approach that fails to address the root causes of these issues and will not effectively stop sexual violence. We are particularly concerned that the harsher penalties proposed in this bill will disproportionately impact marginalized communities, especially members of the LGBTQ community, who already suffer from systematic biases within the criminal justice system, particularly when it comes to sexually based offenses. Studies have shown that LGBTQ people, particularly gay and transgendered individuals, are more likely to be charged with sex offenses compared to their heterosexual counterparts. For instance, LGBTQ individuals are nine times more likely to be charged with sodomy. Measures like- Smitty, no shit, because you're the ones doing it! What do you mean? What do you mean? You're the fucking weirdos that do it! How many have we caught, Smitty, in the bathrooms with fucking little boys and girls? How many of these weirdo fucks have we caught? I, there's no way I'll ever support this. I don't give a fuck if he was right or left. I don't give a fuck who he is. I'm never defending that. I'm defending the act, Smitty, or pro. I'm either pro or against the act. 
Yeah. Fuck, fuck Democrat or Republican. I'm in for the act or against the act. I don't give a fuck about any of the other shit. Hey, listen to the last part of it real quick. SB 14, 14, lead to higher rates of incarceration, longer sentences, and increased difficulties in finding housing and employment. Today, EBC must strongly oppose Senate Bill 1414 um, for the reasons I will state. We stand against any punitive measure that perpetuates systemic injustices, and we emphasize instead the need for community-based solutions. We strongly support investments in victim services and programs to provide housing and other alternatives to help people escape trafficking. We are concerned that the harsher penalties contained in this bill will disproportionately impact marginalized communities, particularly black and brown individuals who already bear the brunt of systemic. Smitty, right there. See, what happens is this, this left group that, that the real big picture here is the kids and the ability to allow our kids to be manipulated, manipulated and then put out in front of these naked people walking down San Francisco for Pride Month and think it's okay. And then they use the word black and brown. And then guess what? The black and brown go, oh, they're for us. Well, Ice Cube's already debunked that, homie. And so is every hood cat I grew up with. They've already debunked it. They know Kamala Harris is full of shit and put more blacks in jail than any motherfucking white person in the political office. They already debunked it. Eddie Griffin and all these motherfucking real ones are calling them shit out too now. And that's the problem. We don't have enough people coming out calling it out. And just because you hear trigger words, we all think, oh, they're for us. They're not for you. They're fucking going to bury you in the, eventually in the long run. We got to just wake up, in my opinion. But listen, you have your right to vote wherever you want. I don't give a fuck. But when I see this, it's the act that I either am against or with. This act right here is what makes me say California, the greatest state in the union at one point, has become such a fucking shithole because of its thinking and philosophies that I am now just like, I get sick and tired of this shit right here. Because I, I just can't continue to sit here and like and see that we are okay with trafficking babies. We are okay with sexual assault against our kids. And they don't all, we all in this country, Smitty, aren't on the same page and say, hell yeah, let's get rid of trafficking. Hell yeah. We no, hell yeah, we better get rid of assault. <laughs> like, Smitty, what? There's a real half of the country that doesn't believe we should get rid of these weirdo fucks? That is a problem to me. And unfortunately, that sides with the left. That thinking is on the left. But yeah, I, know, I, I, I don't know. Like I said, I know, I know a lot of people who, who, who's on the left who don't side with no, that. I, I, no, and, and, that's and, that's, and that's why I say I feel like I feel like even with this example, like what's the actual bill though? Like I, I see, I understand. Like 14, what, 14. What, what? What? Yeah. Like I, I maybe after the shot, I need to go in and like fucking read what all. Like what? What's all included in the shit? A lot of times these bills ain't just all right. Bill fourteen fourteen. Uh, don't solicit yeah. kids. No, that's it. All right, and a lot of times it's like yeah. it's like a thousand, it's a fucking a lot, yeah, a lot yeah. of shit underneath that. That's why when I'm hearing from them, like I don't, it's common sense to me. It's common sense. We don't want fucking kids trying to duh, duh, like fuck, of course. That's that, that duh. Like, there ain't nothing, nothing to argue about. These bills don't be that simple. You know that these bills have fucking a lot of things underneath it. And I think that's what with a lot of the disagreements come from with a lot of with a lot of the shit. You know what I'm saying? We we talk about abortion on this show before. We talk about de- re- reproductive rights and other things on the show that yeah, here, 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 and it's not it's, it's, it's not just typically just boom, boom, yeah. boom. Like here, here's that's my the only thing. thing. First of all, 1414 specifically is the fact that a SA, okay, a, a S assault, uh would result in an automatic felony. And the le- and this left group that was voting against it yesterday said no because it would put LGBTQ members and transgender members in a much more hi- a higher risk to be uh, charged Accused with felony. Of it. Charged with felony. Charged. And isn't that doesn't that make sense? Like that's what you should have happen. Like I don't I don't understand why would there even be a debate on this? I don't give a fuck if right. you were right or left. Yeah, for what, sure. you know what's you know what's fucking irritating and what's discouraging to me as a white boy from the hood to see brothers speak in certain ways d jones came in here and said we need it in simpler terms so saying meaning what you're a brother and you don't understand it like to me that shit is fucking a cop out homie how about we go research 
And I'm not talking just D. Jones and just me and Smitty and everybody else. I'm talking about everyone. Why don't we do the research then if you don't understand it? Yeah. It's such a cop-out. It's such a lazy I think we all do. Out. I think we all lack that, honestly. But that's I, a lazy cop-out. It's a lazy cop-out. I, I think we listen for the most part. Most most Americans. Trigger words. Trigger words. Most Americans, we, we watch the debates. We watch CNN. We watch Fox News. We watch the video clips on TikTok and Instagram and Twitter, five-minute clips. We use all that, and then we feel like our opinion based upon that. Let's be real. A lot of us ain't for real like, you know what? I'm going to take fucking three hours today, go home, and like really go read some fucking journals and articles and look up the history of, of, of what these guys did in their early in their career. We ain't, for the most part, some people probably do, for the most part, we're not truly knowing all this shit for real because we got life. We got other shit to do. I'm not even like saying it in, in a negative way. I'm just saying that's why I think it's it's, it's so hard to even know what's right, what's wrong, because we're not taking the time, like you, to your point, to truly study this shit for real, for real. We just trigger words, trigger topics, quick snippets, little debates where they, where they tell, you, tell you what you want to hear, and we use that to, like, put everything out there. But you know? yeah, here's, here, and we'll go, we're going to move on. I got a rant because I'm on fire. I got a rant. We're going to take commercial and come back and discuss a, a, a bunch of other shit we got going on. We have a loaded show with Steve Kim and Sean King, so – the rest of the show, sports, all you people, calm down. But here's this is why we, we're real about it. Every left leaning city, just just think about just if we couldn't. I hate saying left and right because I never used to use the terms, but Democratic cities right now are really, really fucking bad, and that's just fact. L.A., Oakland, Frisco, Chicago, New York, Philly, just that's just fact. That's fact. Those are left okay. dominated. Those are left dominated cities right now. All right. Me, meaning mayor, governor, senators, whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A hundred motherfuckers was shot in Chicago this weekend, homie. And the mayor came out and said the the reason was President Nixon from the mm. 60s. What the mm. fuck? Are we, what are we doing, homie? Like, what are we doing, dog? Well, I'm going to say, I'm um, not commenting on the Chicago part, but the country's fucked up right now. It's not just left wing cities. Because I'm from I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. That's we we're right winged Indiana, and yeah. Indianapolis is fucked up too. Trust well, me. That, we all are. But what <laughs> I'm saying is that's all I'm saying. Like, but, but Smitty, even, even comments like you just made, like right they like I don't think you even noticed it, but subconsciously, you, like again, your your brain naturally no. left wing no, no, no. cities. No, nah, we're Smitty. all fucked up. Right wing cities. I know exactly too. what, but I, but here's the difference. I know exactly what I said it for. Okay, cool. You Indiana, know you Indiana, Indiana's not fucking Illinois, homie. Indiana is not Pennsylvania, dog. It's not New York. It's not California. Do you get what I'm saying now? All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. I got okay. you. Got you. Okay. So <laughs> the most populous states in the fucking country are fucked up for a reason, and they're yeah. left led. And we have more <laughs> population, which means more death, more innocents getting killed in those left leaning places. That's my point. They're bigger. I understand Indiana's right wing and it's shithole. It, Kansas, too, is right wing and a shithole. By the way, those places are meth infested, crack infested. <laughs> you name it, right? It doesn't matter if you're white or black. Right. They're right. white trash, Indiana, white trash, Kansas. And then you got rural, hood ass, Gary, hood ass, Kansas City, Topeka, Wichita. I'm just telling you, I get it. The left side controls the most populous states in the union, and they are fucking killing what's happening right now. I'm just telling you, it's it's destroying the population on a bigger scale. And when you control the population, Smitty, you start to take over little places. That's just how world works, right? Big fishy, That's little fish. I mean, I'm just saying that That's is true. my whole point to this. That's why if you can't, if you can't understand that the bigger places are being controlled by this that we have a problem we need to understand we're not going to get them all you, right. you know and, and i don't mean we like as far as right or left i, yeah, I don't give yeah. a fuck I'm, like the real people that care about the real people the the fucking innocents the people defending and sticking up for the innocent people out there we're not going to take over all the population but damn can we get New York back or California or one of these big states? The only big state left is Texas. Yeah. And they and they're getting killed by tornadoes and hurricanes. Like I'm yeah, just saying, yeah. we we got we got like we got to get a couple of these states back, homie, or we really are about to be swallowed. And I'm just telling you, 
Democrats are now the new Republicans, homie. I'm just telling you. That. I hear you. Maybe. Last thing I'm saying before we move on, make sure everybody look up Project Transition, Project 2025. I, I sent it to Bailey and JB twice over the last week. Asked for their opinions. I didn't get no response from neither one of them. Twice I asked for both. I'm going to get no response. Make sure y'all get, get a chance. Y'all look it up. And y'all just look it up. That's all I'm saying. JB, Maybe. go ahead and go through your rant, man. I, I know we. I know a few minutes late. I didn't hear anything you said. Uh, 